welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stick around. So welcome to the second video of my October Halloween series. If you're a frequent viewer, you would have noticed in my last video when I decorated my room and pet enclosures for Halloween, there was an enclosure you guys have never seen before. And that's because it belongs to this new spooky animal that I'm showing you today. This animal is a spooky noodle. It's not just any spooky noodle, it's a Halloween spooky noodle. So I want to introduce you to Tootsie, my Kenyan sand boa. So I got Tootsie back at the Erie Expo. She did make an appearance in that video. I've seen worms bigger than this. And she's just this gorgeous orange and then like blackish brown coloring. I'm pretty sure this is just like kind of a common coloring for Kenyan sand boas. So nothing too fancy, not an expensive morph. But I do think this is one of the prettiest morphs of the Kenyan sand boa. So obviously you can see why I call her Halloween spooky noodle. She's Halloween colored. So I wanted to come up with a Halloween name for her. So I had a list and I had to go through. Um, once I found out that she was female, that did kind of knock some names out. Um, the Kenyan Sambos are really cool because you, you can just tell by looking at them what their gender is. So there's no probing, you just look at the vent and then see the distance of, from the vent to the end of the tail. So it's usually shorter in females and longer in males. She does have a very short stubby tail and so I'll, I'm taking that as she's a female. And then because Kenyan Samboas are kind of derpy and cute, I wanted a derpy and cute name. So I ended up with Tootsie, like a Tootsie Roll, which is a commonly thought of Halloween candy. So for anyone that doesn't know anything about Kenyan Samboas, they spend most of their time buried in the substrate. They really don't do much. You can see it's trying to bury into my hand. Um, so they're super easy to take care of. Great beginner snake if you never want to see your snake. But they are super cute, super sweet, and they're one of the smallest boa species. So they're super manageable, super easy to take care of, super inexpensive, even though it's basically like you went and bought an empty enclosure and called it your pet. So I wanted to introduce you guys to Tootsie a while ago but I gave her a week to settle in when I brought her home and then she went into shed. So actually I'll grab her shed for you guys. So this is Tootsie's shed and it's super exciting because this is my first whole shed from one of my snakes. Um, the other two are getting close. I keep getting like two halves but she gave me my first whole shed so that's super exciting. This will be getting framed. So yeah, she had her adjustment period and then went into shed. Now I need to feed her, but I wanted to film this video before I fed her and had to leave her alone for a couple days. So yeah, that is Tootsie, my new spooky Kenyan sand boa. You can see those colors there. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can keep seeing Tootsie and don't miss any more of my Halloween videos for the month. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.